Yo, hello everybody. It's the uh, January recap, so I'm guessing that I still can wish a happy new year for uh, everybody. So what happened on Secret Project during January? Not so much to show, to be honest, but a lot has been done. I, I, I've been really busy, but, but there won't be a lot to show. Mainly because right now I'm learning C++. I decided that it was the time to finally and seriously learn programming language. So during these months, I spent most of my time watching tutorials and learning how to manage C++ into Unreal. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to start to use more advanced features from the engine from Unreal. Like example, the uh, gameplay ab ability system that seems to be really promising. And since I want to refactor the whole combat system, it feels like it's going to be the right time to start to dig into the gameplay ability system and try to uh, implement that into the game. I also want to make sure that the project is future-proof. And I want the project to be ready to be extended with core features if needed. And the last reason is that even if the uh, blueprints are really performant, nothing can beat C++. So maybe learning for performance might be overkill. I just want to be ready to switch some features in C++ if it's needed and if the time comes and I realize that I really need to improve the performance there and I realize that this feature is a really good candidate to improve on. So for all this reason, I want is to uh, start the year by learning C++. So that's why I have nothing to show, but trust me, I've been really busy this month. Okay, so I also started to learn something else. It's a plugin called Logic Driver Pro, and it seems really promising. It's a pl plugin that helps me to create state-based logics based on visual scripting. So it's looking a little bit like a, a machine state in the animation blueprint, except that it can be used for anything else in the development. So it can get really useful for anything that's got branching. The first example I have in mind is the combat system for the combat, but it also could be used for the dialogue system or for the, the quest system where we could have some branching branching in the quest and so far I would say that it's really promising. Alright, so I also started to uh, try. This is just a try right now. I don't know if at the end I'm gonna go this road but I'm trying to find a way to generate a procedural uh, NPC. So the, the, those guests that's come, uh, gonna come to the guest house. I want to have as much variety as I can for their design. So I'm trying to find a way to do that procedurally, trying to avoid to do everything by hands. And it would be great if I could find a way to make it a little bit more procedurally and it would save me a little bit of time. But right now, I'm going to be honest, I don't know if it fits really the needs of the project. So I'm investigating on this side. All right, that's it for this month. Um, I hope that the, the new year is going to be as productive as 2022 or maybe even more. That would be great. And for the next months, I plan to finally start the refactor of the combat system with all the knowledge I got last year. And now that I know a little bit more what I want for the combat system, I feel like I'm ready to make it more robust and more, more flexible for the future. So in the meantime, I'm wishing everybody a good year, a good month, and I hope you'll still be following the progress of the secret projects during the next months. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye bye.